10 presidential hopefuls have qualified for the third Democratic debate. The event, hosted by ABC and Univision, will air on Thursday, Sept. 12 The qualifying candidates are, former Vice President Joe Biden, Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont, Senator Kamala Harris of California, Sen. Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg, Sen. Cory Booker of New Jersey, Senator Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota, entrepreneur Andrew Yang, former HUD Secretary Julian Castro and former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke. To qualify for the third debate, candidates had to have a minimum of 130,000 individual donors. They also had to draw at least 2% in four qualifying polls released between June 28 and August 28. The requirements have effectively reduced the debate fields by half. 20 candidates debated over two nights during the first two debates. With only 10 qualifiers, the third debate will be limited a single night. Also read, ABC News announces hosts and rules for third Democratic presidential debates Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard and author Marianne Williamson have met the donor requirements according to their campaigns, but not the polling thresholds. Billionaire Tom Steyer, a late entry to the race, also failed to meet the polling requirements. Former Rep. John Delany didn't meet polling or fundraising requirements, but has not yet dropped out. Four candidates who participated in the first debate have withdrawn from the race, Rep. Eric Swalwell of California, Gov. Jay Inslee of Washington, former Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper and Sen. Kirsten Gillibrand of New York. ABC News anchors George Stephanopoulos, David Muir, Lindsay Davis and Jorge Ramos will moderate next month's third debate live from Houston. A fourth debate, with similar qualifying criteria, will be held in October. 2020 presidential contenders, who's still challenging Donald Trump and who's dropped out, photos, there's still more than a year to go until the 2020 presidential election, but the competition to maybe replace Donald Trump in the White House is already stiff, it's a lot to keep track of but we're here to help. Here's the reps list of everyone who is running for president so far. Joe Biden, Democratic Party entered race, April 25, 2019 The former Obama VP was a late entry to the race, formally declaring his run for the presidency on April 25. But he's long been a presumed frontrunner, leading many early polls. This is his third presidential run, and for months he's been telling anyone who will listen that he'd be the most qualified candidate for the job. He's also already been under scrutiny over criticism about his behavior with women, prompting him to post a video promising he'd be more mindful and respectful of a woman's personal space. Biden has also been prone to embarrassing slips of the tongue, among them placing the assassinations of RFK and MLK in the late 70s, mistaking his campaign's text number for a website, waxing nostalgic about his friendships with Senate segregationists, and saying, poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. CBS Elizabeth Warren, Democratic Party entered race, Feb. 9, 2019 The Massachusetts Senator formally announced her candidacy on Feb. 9 at a rally in her home state, and shortly after followed up with a tweet that read, I believe in an America of opportunity. My daddy ended up as a janitor, but his little girl got the chance to be a public school teacher, a college professor, a United States senator, and a candidate for president of the United States. Nineteen, 2019 Bernie Sanders, the runner-up in the 2016 contest for the Democratic nomination, has recorded a campaign video in which he says he is running for president in 2020, according to a report in Politico. Getty Images Getty Images Pete Buttigieg, Democratic Party entered race, April 14, 2019 The 37-year-old mayor of South Bend, Indiana would become the first openly gay presidential nominee from a major political party. Buttigieg's platform includes a plan to further empower black America and economic reform. Getty Images Beto O'Rourke, Democratic Party entered race, March 14, 2019 The former congressman from El Paso, Texas, announced he
is running for president on March 14, saying, This is a defining moment of truth for this country and for every single one of us, and that the challenges have never been greater. They will either consume us, or they will afford us the greatest opportunity to unleash the genius of the United States of America, he added. O'Rourke has already made a name for himself as a record-breaking fundraiser, the subject of an HBO documentary and a favorite among Hollywood elite. Getty Julian Castro, Democratic Party entered race, Jan. 12, 2019 The former mayor of San Antonio, and former Obama cabinet member, supports immigration reform and eliminating lead poisoning, Getty Images Tulsi Gabbard, Democratic Party entered race, Jan. 11, 2019 Gibbard, AAUS representative for Hawaii's 2nd Congressional District, endorsed Bernie Sanders in 2016, but in 2020 she's all in on herself. Gibbard is running on immigration and criminal justice reform, Getty Images Cory Booker, Democratic Party entered race, February. 1, 2019 The New Jersey senator and former mayor of Newark formally tossed his name into the presidential hat on Feb. 1. The first day of Black History Month. Booker plans to end mass incarceration if he were to be elected president. Getty Images Marianne Williamson, Democratic Party entered race, Jan. 28, 2019 The Healing the Soul of America, author and founder of Project Angel Food announced her candidacy during a political rally at the Sabin Theater in Los Angeles on Jan. 28. If elected president, Williamson would be in favor of reparations and economic justice for women and children, Getty Images Andrew Yang, Democratic Party entered race, in November 6, 2017 The entrepreneur and son of immigrant parents from Taiwan became a contender a year ago, telling The New York Times that he will advocate for a universal basic income, Getty Images John Delany, Democratic Party entered race, July 28, 2017 The U.S. Representative for Maryland's 6th District declared back in July 2017. He says he'll end reckless trade wars and expand trade, create a universal health care system, and launch a national AI strategy. Getty Images Amy Klobuchar, Democratic Party entered race, February 10, 2019. The Minnesota Democrat, first elected to the U.S. Senate in 2006, announced her bid on Feb. 10, 2019, saying that she wanted to work for everyone who wanted their work recognized. Klobuchar's key issues she wants to tackle if elected president include revising voting rights protections and prioritizing cybersecurity. Getty Images Michael Bennett, Democratic Party entered race, May 2, 2019. The Colorado senator has been a vocal supporter on advancing the field of artificial intelligence and expanding the child tax credit. Wayne Messam, Democratic candidate, entered race, March 28, 2019. The mayor of Miramar, Florida, a city near Miami. Emmy, is a first-generation American who has called for end the filibuster and erasing student debt. Tom Steyer, Democratic Party entered race, July 9, 2019 The billionaire and climate change activist entered the race in July, saying in a video, If you think that there's something absolutely critical, try as hard as you can and let the chips fall where they may. And that's exactly what I'm doing. My name's Tom Steyer, and I'm running for president, Joe Sestick, Democratic Party entered race, June 23, 2019 The former Pennsylvania congressman has a plan for America that includes investing in American manufacturing and strengthening antitrust laws, Bill de Blasio, Democratic Party entered race, May 16, 2019 The New York City mayor is looking for more taxes for the wealthy and regulating gig jobs, under his proposed universal labor standards if he were to be president, Steve Bullock, Democratic Party entered race, May 14, 2019 the the Montana governor supports universal health care and immigration reform. Bill Weld, Republican Party entered race, April 15, 2019. Weld is currently the only fellow Republican running against President Donald Trump. Weld is a former governor of Massachusetts who has been on the record about his displeasure of Trump, specifically Trump's desire to be more of a king than a president, Joe Walsh. Republican Party entered race, August 25, 2019 The former congressman from Illinois turned conservative talk show host announced in August 2019 that he would enter the GOP primaries to challenge President Trump. I'm running because he's unfit, somebody needs to step up and there needs to be an alternative. 
the country is sick of this guy's tantrum, he's a child, he told ABC News. Dropped out, Seth Moulton, Democratic Party entered race, April 22, 2019 Dropped out, August 23, 2019 The Massachusetts congressman and Iraq War veteran ended his campaign for President IA speech to the DNC in San Francisco. I think it's evident that this is now a three-way race between Biden, Warren and Sanders, and really it's a debate about how far left the party should go. Mr. Bolton told the New York Times, dropped out, Eric Swalwell entered race, April 8, dropped out, July 8, 2019 The California congressman wrote in a statement on his campaign's website on his decision to bow out of the 2020 presidential race. I'll never forget the people I met and lessons I learned while traveling, sick around our great nation, especially in the communities most affected by gun violence, dropped out, Jen Hickenlooper entered race, March 4, 2019 dropped out, August. 15, 2019 The former Colorado governor supports stricter gun control laws and free trade, dropped out, Jay Inslee, Democratic Party entered race, March 1, 2019 exited race, August. 21, 2019 The governor of Washington ran on a platform focused on climate change, proposing a 100% clean energy for America plan that would see emissions drop to zero by 2035. He announced he was dropping out of the race during an appearance on The Rachel Maddow Show. It's become clear that I'm not going to be carrying the ball, Inslee told Maddow. I'm not going to be the president, I'm withdrawing tonight from the race, Inslee added that he's optimistic that climate change will be a major part of the Democratic Party's priorities. Dropped out, Kirsten Gillibrand, Democratic Party entered race, January 15, 2019 exited race, August. 28, 2019 The senator from New York announced her bid Tuesday, Jan. On The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Gillibrand, whose campaign slogan is Brave Wins, supports paid family leave and protecting women's rights. On August 28, 2019, she announced her withdrawal. To our supporters, thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Now, let's go beat Donald Trump and win back the Senate, she tweeted, Getty Images Honorable Mention, Howard Schultz Independent The former Starbucks CEO hasn't formally declared, but he's teased a possible run as an independent on the book tour for his autobiography. Given widespread fears that a third-party candidate could help ensure a Trump victory, so far Schultz's hypothetical candidacy isn't going over well, according to a recent poll. On June 12, Schultz reportedly suspended his campaigning until after Labor Day, citing medical issues. Schultz is a co-founder of the venture capital firm Maveron, which is an investor in Fear App. Getty Images Previous Slide Next Slide 1 of 29 Eric Swalwell was first to formally end his campaign, while Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris and more remain in the race there's still more than a year to go until the 2020 presidential election, but the competition to maybe replace Donald Trump in the White House is already stiff, it's a lot to keep track of but we're here to help. Here's the reps list of everyone who is running for president so far. Let's block ads. Why? 